poor Steph. I know he's not feeling well, and I know exactly how that feels. We've got exciting news, really exciting news. And you know that we've been trying to find that cheetah again to follow up on her little cubs, and unfortunately we haven't managed. We think she might have moved. But we have just got really, really exciting news that the guys have found the den site of a mother with tiny, tiny little lion cubs. Now, she's left the cubs, and obviously we're not going to hang out where she's keeping brand new cubs. But we are on a search for the lionesses themselves, because then at least we can figure out exactly which lionesses they are. And it looks like we might have found them. Our signal might be a bit shaky here. I don't know. I've never, ever been down here in my life before. This is a, a new experience for me as well. But let's just have a look. Where's everybody looking? They've obviously spotted something. Come back. Manu's got it. I can't go back, Manu. The reverse is in the wrong... Woo! It's not banging to the other car. Hi, guys. Stop, 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 says Manu. Well spotted, Manu. Let's see what we've got here. I think we found our plan for... Oh, goodness gracious. Move forward a bit. Yes, I see that. Oh, well done, Manu. Hold on, everyone. We're going to get a little... Okay. Uh, let's not crash into a car. There we go. Oh, that is about as good as it's going to get, I think, folks. So there's one of our lionesses. And potentially the mother of cubs that are just a few days old. Now the nice thing about where she's chosen for her den is that it's in the middle of this lugger or river system, which means that, they, you know, no matter where we spot them from, we'll always be a very, very comfortable distance away from her. But I think what we'll do is we'll try and stick with them or at least return here as it gets dark because there's a very, very good chance that she's going to go back to those cubs and give them another feed. The younger they are, the shorter the time, sort of the time distances between the mother's visits. She's got to go back and suckle them regularly. They're tiny. They've got tiny, tiny little tummies. So they can't drink much milk. Barbara, our cubs will be safe. I mean, they'll be completely safe. Well, as completely safe as they can be when they've reached sexual maturity. And I'm talking specifically of female cubs. So Barbara's wondering about what age the cubs will be safe from a male takeover. There we go. Our lioness is up. Oh, girl. Sabotage. That's not the ideal place for you to be. Um, so Barbara is talking about uh, pride takeovers and when the cubs will be safe. The females at around about th three years old, which is when they will be experiencing their first Easter cycles, but actually potentially even earlier, at around about two and a half years old. Young males will never, ever be safe from a pride takeover. Once they reach sexual maturity, of course, then they become competition to incoming males and they will have to move out, which is what happened with the young Kuhuma male uh, many years, many years ago, but about two years ago when the Birmingham boys took over. He, he didn't leave immediately, but he did leave relatively soon after the Birmingham boys established themselves. <sighs> okay. Plan. Plan, plan, plan for the afternoon. I think we'll probably leave this area because these lionesses, it's hot. They're going to hang out here. And then we'll just cross fingers and go back to the den site as it starts to get dark. And hopefully our lovely lioness decides to go back there. As you can see, there's a few people who are really wanting to see these lions. We can't from our perspective. So I think let me try once more to reposition. I did want to try and get an idea of who they are, but I don't think... Oh, everybody's doing a everybody's doing a shuffle. This is how bumper bashings happen. <laughs> Oof. All right, my lines are playing hard to get. So we're going to have to do some concentrating and shuffling around. Fortunately for all of us, the lions of Juma are being slightly more cooperative. 